Just a couple of real guys having a real good time watching movies. Hey folks, we're the real guys. If you're thinking of heading out to the cinema this weekend, we checked out Suicide Squad. A secret government agency recruits imprisoned supervillains to execute a dangerous black ops mission. Well, there was a lot of great stuff in that movie and some misfires. I'm just going to talk about two uh, drawbacks. Both had to do with storytelling. I thought the first act of the movie uh, was really clunky. It was full of uh, a lot of unnecessary and awkward exposition. They went through and explained all the characters. They did not need to do that. Also, as the plot went along, we sort of lost what the objective was of the movie. First there was this mission, and then in the middle we're doing this thing, and then somewhere after that we're like, oh wait, we have to do this other thing, there's a villain or something. So uh, there was a little bit of confusion there. In spite of those problems though, I loved the characters, I loved the visual style of the movie, I loved the soundtrack. Uh, I had a great time. Yeah, I, I say that this movie was really saved by the characters. It, the, everybody played their part very well, and there were two enormous standouts as Will Smith as Deadshot and Margot Robbie as uh, my favorite Harley Quinn, which, you know, you kind of knew that one was coming. But uh, I thought they captured those roles and they just made it really, really enjoyable. And I had a fun time. Uh, I did think it was just a little bit too long, but hey, I'll forgive it. I'll go see it again. So I'm gonna say it's Jacktastic. Yes, I had a blast, and I'm looking forward to a sequel, so it was outstanding. That's your big screen breakdown, brought to you by Papa, Papa John's. John's. You know that Harley is just a little bit dangerous. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good afternoon, my name is Harleen, Harleen Quinzel. What a pretty name! Do your friends call you Harley? I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. Hey, I'm your friend too. The patient will only speak when spoken to. He spoke. Silence. Now you were brought in for excessive shenanigans. What do you have to say for yourself? The real guy's credo is that there's no such thing as excessive shenanigans. It's been scientifically proved that when people laugh, it creates vibrations in the air that create positive ions. Also, it should be noted that when people laugh, they emit carbon dioxide, which is good for trees and makes the planet green. And when things are greener, people are calmer. And I haven't even mentioned mini chlorians. You know 45% of hush, your blood- Hush, stand the man. This is science. Dr. Quindell, are you all right? Batter up. Ah! See? Green trees! So what's on your mind, senor? What kind of dessert do they serve with dinner? Oh, my favorite, pudding. Till next time, we're the real guys wishing you peace, love, and popcorn! Just a couple of real guys. Brought to you by Papa John. Pizza!